Hi, my name is Adrian Sim, and today in this video we're going to be looking at um, a transabdominal approach to looking at the interrecti distance with the C3 scanner. So when we're measuring interrecti distance, we can measure at different points through the abdominal wall. So it's best to pick a point or several points that you can reproduce. So you can do that by measuring um, with a measuring tape and just marking out those spaces. For the purposes of today, we're just gonna go about three centimeters above the umbilicus here. I'm going to unfreeze the image. And then we're basically looking at uh, finding the head of the rectus. So I'm moving the probe over to the right of the patient. And then I'm coming through the middle and I can see the head of the rectus show up here. And then moving through to the left and seeing the left rectus abdominis there. So I'm gonna come back to the midline here so that I can get both of those recti heads in view um, and get a clear image of that linea alba here. And then I'm going to freeze the image. I'm gonna pull out my calipers here, and I'm going to measure from one side to the other. And then we're gonna capture image. And we can see that the interrecti distance is labeled at the top of the, of the screen on the left-hand side. To further look at the function of the linea alba, we can unfreeze. And in this case, I'm gonna get the client to do a curl up test. So it's just to see how um, the linea alba reacts and what the interrecti distance does. So I'm gonna get my client to, without any cues, just do a curl up of the head and shoulders. And then I'm gonna freeze the image and I'm gonna get them to relax back down. And at this point, we can remeasure that interrecti distance. So pulling out the calipers again and measuring from one side to the other. And again, capturing the image. And then we can also compare that to another activity where we pre-contract or uh, cue the client to do a specific contraction. So again, placing the probe at that same spot relatively, we're gonna unfreeze the image. We're gonna get the client to connect to their pelvic floor before they curl up, and then we're gonna get them to curl up. Good, and then we're going to freeze and get them to relax back down. So then we can again pull out our calipers and remeasure from one end to the other and get that third measurement there. So that wraps up um, measuring interrecti distance.